and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Carlin Gaming Pokemon Leaf Green Randomizer Nuz Lock Challenge. In today's episode, I think we're doing a lot of team upgrades. That's the goal. So first, we're going to finish off uh, all the trainers on this route, make them uh, wish they'd never even gotten into Pokemon because we're going to wreck them so hard. Um, then we're going to go to Fuchsia City. Um, we could immediately go try and fight Koga. However... Uh, the lowest level member of his team is 37, which also happens to be the highest level on our team. So I just don't think we're there yet. Now, it's worth remembering that typically Koga is a super scary Nuzlocke fight because he has uh, a big old wheezing and a coughing and they can self-destruct and explode and just bl literally blow up your team. Um, probably won't be a poison gym this time though. So that is... Excellent. So maybe we'll go, maybe we'll peek in, fight one of his underlings and be like, hmm, what do we need to be prefer preparing for? That's probably a good job. That's probably what we're going to do. Um, otherwise, what we're probably going to do is go to the Safari Zone and uh, get Surf and Strength, which would be good. And we can try and catch a Pokemon there. I'm very curious to see what we'll get to the Safari Zone because who knows, right? It could literally be anything. I mean, that's always the case, but it'd be very weird because we will have even less control than usual over the catches, right? Because, uh, ooh, look, a Zangoose. Interesting. Go, hit him, Sparkles. Mighty Spark! Fury Cutter. Psh, you wish, man. All right. Boom, dead Spork. Let's do this, bud dead. Kicking things off nice with that Zangoose. This guy's a normal trainer, which means maybe we're going to switch out to, um, well, Swablu. Oh, you're about to die. Yeah, because it's also part flying. So it's going down. Going down. Because in the safari zone, at least we will have plenty of safari balls. But, um, boy, it'll be very tricky to see should we do, like, the bait, the rock. My strategy in the safari zone is always just throw the ball. Like, don't don't mess around with all this bait nonsense. Just, just start hucking balls. But um, if we get something with, like, a really low catch rate, I don't know. Maybe we'll have to just, uh, the safari zone scares me. Because I feel like as bad of luck as we've had catching stuff, like the Beldum, um... <laughs> I just, I don't have uh, high confidence for myself right now in that regard, but maybe we'll get something cool. Also, the thing we can do is uh, we're going to fly back to Viridian City because you guys have all reminded me that we could fish in the little pond off to the side of town, which I completely forgot about, which is hilarious because that's where I caught the Polyrath in my very original um, Fire Red playthrough that made it onto the final team. Hey, did you guys know that steel is uh, weak to uh, thunder? Uh, no, it's not. You guys severely let me know that in the comments. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to switch out to Dracus here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Why does Dracus not have health? Why is Dracus so low? Oh, oh, not very effective. What are you talking about? Oh, we're paralyzed. Oh, oh, I swear. I thought I super potioned everyone before this. Oh, gosh. Okay, okay. That was scary. I didn't like that one bit, Magneton. It was, it was not nice. No, it was not. I'm going to have to throw the Intimidate on you. You're hitting us with a Sonic Boom. Okay, it's not so bad at this point in the game because we're significantly stronger. The Super Sonic? What is this Magneton? I do not like this one bit. Cece, you got this. Focus. Punch that thing in the face. Not yourself. Oh. <gasps> oh, goodness, 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 goodness. We are running out of options. Quickly. We could go back to Sporkles. We could just try and spark this thing. We could go electric v electric, right? We could do it. This thing doesn't have anything. We're mighty Sporkles. Um, at the very least, we could do that just to get rid of the confusion. Okay, we are two levels higher, and we're amazing, and now we're paralyzed. You shouldn't be able to be hit by Thunder Wave. Maybe I should Thunder Wave this thing. It's giving me all sorts of problems, Sonic Boom. Yeah, you wish, bro. Yeah, how does that feel? Not good. I didn't think so. All right, so now we're going to switch as well. This guy is putting up a serious fight. Um, maybe he'll get fully paralyzed. Let's see it. Intimidate. Paralyzed can't move. Awesome. Brick break. Wreck that thing, man. Magnetons. Always tricky. Always tricky. Their typing is pretty solid in this game. Steel electric. My gosh. My gosh. Why would I lose? Well, you know, it is surprising uh, based on the way you fought there. First of all, though, let's heal up. My goodness. How many rare candies do we have? Two? Okay, that's good. 
Because as we know, we're saving those for our eventual evolution of Dracus into Salamence. Which, by the okay, so this is this is a funny thing that I'm going to talk about right here. You guys, I let me tell you something. I it, have informed me about the oh I don't want to use the super repel no about the pronunciation of different Pokemon, and I don't I don't think you can exist in the Pokemon fandom without coming across this because everyone just says them differently. And I know there are officially correct ones, but sometimes the officially correct pronunciation of the Pokemon is not the right pronunciation. Like, you know what I mean? Like, so someone was telling me the other day that it's Salamence, not Salamence. And it's like, sure, maybe Salamence is technically the correct one, but it's not the right one, right? Like Salamence is just obviously the way you, you should say it because it's cooler and better. So look, you guys can correct me on the pronunciations all you want. I will not change them. I will say them the way that I say them. And uh, that's part of the community as far as I'm concerned. And because here's the thing, everyone is positive the way they're saying it is the correct way. Everyone is, po I, when I was growing up, one of the big Pokemon pronunciation battles was over the final evolution of Livid, um, which is Pidgeot. That's, that's the appropriate way to say it. Um, but people would like argue blue in the face that it was Pidget. Like, are you kidding me? And like, they were convinced and it's like, no, no, it's definitely not Pidget. It's Pidgeot. But, uh, you know, sometimes the, the official pronunciation is just wrong and you have to correct it yourself and make it sound better. Like Salamence over Salamence. Sorry. Uh, Rayquaza, that's another one. I think the, the official correct way is Rayquaza. Like, I'm sorry, no. No one says Rayquaza because it's stupid. You say Rayquaza because it's correct, because that's right. Hmm? Yeah. Okay, this is like, forever people always called it, like, Pokemon. Oh, it's and like I, Pokemon. Yeah, and I, I always felt to me, like, when people were saying Pokemon, they were, like, intentionally trying to make it sound like childish. Oh, yeah, Ben is commenting on the very word Pokemon itself. Which I, everyone says, I think the common way to say it is Pokemon. I think the appropriate way is Pokemon. Uh, but every adult ever who has been too old for the game has said Pokemon or Pokeman. It's just like, get get with it, guys. Okay. You know who we're going to send out here for this double battle? We got to send out Fang Unit Dracus. Here we go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Although maybe we should also Super Potion that someone made a really good point the other day also while we're here while we're here while we're in the bag about the tm case um about giving data thief instead of rest because we already because because we can just use healing moves anyway and uh it's just sort of fun and this is a special move anyway so we'll get a, it's at least in our wheelhouse and maybe we'll pick up some fun items. So let's see. I'm going to do it because you know what? We also have the rest TM. So we can just redo this if we really, really want rest back. Oh, dig. Who can learn dig? Happy and CC. Both great options. Let's see. See. <laughs> oh, tackle. Well, tackles. Hmm. Okay. Brick, break, but. Bite. We're going to get rid of Bite, is the thing we're going to do, because that's because we're a physical attacker in this special, so it's the same thing. We're just moving the Dark-type attack from here to there. We're getting rid of Bite, which means, I believe, also... Oh, hilariously, that means we should take the um, uh, Black Glasses off of CC, right? Because now we don't have a Dark-type moves. But we should not give it to Data, because then we won't be able to steal items, because we'll already be holding one, so... There's that. Does anyone else have a dark type move at the moment? I think we've gotten rid of bite all over the place, though. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, no. Happy. Ha okay. We're going to give happy the sunglasses for now. Where are those black glasses? There we go. There you go. So there you go. And here we go. Fang unit Dracus. Let's fight. What do they have? Vile Bloom and Chikorita. So I'm liking our odds here because we're just going to aerial ace. One of these two seems like a way better trainer, wouldn't you say? Look at that. The double intimidate. Beautiful. And then here, this is always a great move against uh, these kind of trainers. If anyone who aimed at CC, good luck. Doesn't matter. And then we're also going to, um, we're going to aim at the Vile Bloom first because I want it dead. Mm-hmm. Had a feeling that wouldn't kill it. 
But now we can switch our Aerialis over to Chikorita for the second round. And, ah, but they went with the Stun Spore. Hmm. Oh, they both aimed at Dracus. Did they see the dig coming? Seems unlikely. There goes the dig, though. Boom. Vile Plume out. Are we going to get... Mm-hmm. Dracus, 34. Where's the countdown? Where's the countdown? Reflect. Okay. Aerialist. Wow. Okay. So now I don't even think we need to dig. We're just going to tackle that thing to death and aerialist it as well. Wow. Wow. Putting on some serious status effects all of a sudden. These trainers over here. Man. So anyway, long story short, um, correcting my pronunciations on things is not gonna is not going to change the way I pronounce them. <laughs> even if, because even if you're correct, I believe that I am right. And uh, as long as you know what I mean, what's the difference? That's the whole point of language, anyway, right? So, yeah, that's where that's where we're at on that. Uh, the change, and it is, it's possible you're wrong. It happens, it happens. It's also possible I'm wrong. That's more likely, I mean, frankly, but we know I'm not. It's when it comes to remembering to buy great, I, I bought great balls. It happened. We're gonna put um, Sporkles, no, back out front. I bet you guys are, it drove someone crazy that I said thunder instead of electric earlier, but you know what? You know what I meant. It's like when you say plant instead of grass. Like, guess what? We get it. We get it. It's all there. Sneasel! Ah, like our Alberta. Oh no, we're out of PP. Oh gosh. Ooh, whoops. Okay, so that's a problem. Um, in that case, though, we're just going to switch out to the old Cesaruski here. So you may be wondering, update from last episode, how uh, dear Moirin is doing. How dare you screech me? After all the all the blame that Moirin uh, gave himself for the bell dump, despite it clearly being my fault, uh, I will say Moirin has recovered some. Had a very good episode last time. Just really wrecked some people on the um, on this route. Really raised the confidence back up, which was good. Um, and I will say that the I mean, everyone else on the team. What is going on here? Did we miss with the brick break? Oh, no, we can't use brick break. Whoops. Duh. Oh, ooh, this is not a good fight. Let's dig this thing. I was like, what's going on? Everyone's yelling at my bad type memorizations. It's not, I for the most part, I know all the, I like, I know the type matchups. Oh, this guy, look at this guy using dig to predict the, okay. What are you going to detect twice in a row? It's not going to work three times in a row. It's more the resistances that I think I, I don't remember as well. It's stuff like like fighting versus poison and stuff like that. It, I don't know. It, I, I don't ever use fighting types in my regular playthroughs, which is why I don't think about the kind of stuff that uh, they're good against. And you'd think this long into my Pokemon career, I'd have used some fighting types, right? And sure enough, I have. But what is with the Sableyes? <sighs> Great YouTube channel, by the way, the Sableyes, if you're trying to learn how to play uh, the Pokemon card game better. Very good. Shout out to Mitch. What up? You can see this channel at the and the end card of uh, his videos because we're a member over there. Because I appreciate the content. Which, by the way, if you want, uh, thank you to everyone who has signed up as a member on this channel. I went and um, if you didn't know, you you can be a member, no obligation at all. But um, You get to use the cool emotes, basically, in the chat, which is very fun. Especially if you're watching this during the premiere, because uh, then we have um, Fang Unit Dracus emotes. We have Data Gang emotes. We have uh, a Dumbrion emote, because, of course, they are uh, all against us. Now we can Brick Break. There we go. You got it, CC. CC is... D oh, but now we're out. <laughs> Gosh. We are we are just low. We have got to get to a Pokemon Center and, like, fast. Because we are just running out of attacks. We have beat up everyone on this route. So... Oh, gosh. Come on. Come on. I didn't get a chance to switch. Now we're still going to be... Oh, gosh. And it's a bad matchup. Okay. Let's switch out to Moira. And that's going to be... Oh, but what? It's flying type. Oh. Uh, okay. So we, we escaped danger. We're also seven levels higher. So I'm feeling pretty good. Look at that. We're going to get... No! We don't... We are just out of attacks everywhere. This is a real problem. 
Oh gosh, okay, so we, I think we can just cut this thing to death though, right? Quick attack, okay, thank, oh no! It did like so little damage, so little, look at, out, out. Like, Leech Seed will do it, but that's such a dumb way to destroy, yeah, okay, great. And now we have uh, the Golem, oh no! Okay, um, let's go out to Happy. Got out your sensor bar. We have a happy sensor bar emote too. That's probably my favorite one. Look at those glorious glutes. Oh my goodness, my goodness. Wow, it's like they forgot he had a tail and instead drew that glorious, that glorious booty on there. Um, let's water gun this thing. Okay, <laughs> happy has tons of attacks left because I guess we've been letting everyone else get some workouts in. And here comes the Flygon. Dare we bring in Dragon Slayer data? I don't think we need to. I think we're just gonna, oh, maybe we will though because now he's doing this nonsense. Mm-hmm, faint attack, nothing. Come on, there it is. And the win, 38, boom, look at that. Trying to learn Slash, ooh, ooh, maybe we should. See, maybe we should actually get rid of Bite now, because <laughs> uh, Slash seems better, given our, I wish they would let you see your stats while you were doing this part. Scary face, it's not, it doesn't seem useful, but there could be key moments where it might be, although we haven't used it at, I don't know if we've used it at all. It could be very useful in situations. It's very situational. Uh, but we have the dark glasses. I'm just gonna get rid of scary face. It's happening, it's happening. Happy is going full offensive. There we go. Can we just get around the other trainers on this route? Oh, I, I, she turned around, no! I, I, died. I didn't switch. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna switch out to CC. Ah, see, well, mm-hmm. I want to use Dig, because, uh, gosh, now our, fortunately we threw the Intimidate, so that Screech isn't as bad as it might have been. Look, Ground's effective against Poison, you guys, I learned a thing. No, I already knew that. Um, now we don't have any electric attacks, so that's a problem. Here, um, we can try and, let's just dig it again, why not? Supersonic, that's why not. Now we got to get through the confusion twice. We got through it once, that's good. Constrict misses, CC uses dig for the double confusion dodge. CC up to 38. Look at our mighty grand, but rage, CC, forget it. No, the last thing I need you to do is raging more. Gosh, you're already the angriest member on the team. No, yes, stop learning rage, gosh. We don't need extra rage on the team. Okay, and there's the muck. So the only problem is that we're still confused. Snapped out of confusion, now we should be good. There we go. Oh, but they're doing the minimize, the classic minimizing muck. And we missed, oh. They're pulling this nonsense now. I see what they're trying to do. Okay, I don't like that one bit. And we're out of magic leaves, which is very frustrating. Uh, okay, well we have one more chance at the dig. Let's try it before we, oh, oh, it was so close. And now it minimized again, oh no. Okay, now we can try, let's try and tackle it. Cece, you can do this, you can do this. Oh, oh God, our defenses are low, but we got it. There it is, broke through the minimize. How hard is it to see a little sludge, right? It ain't that hard. We got him, we got it. Woo, woo. We are getting, we are running low on so many data. I'm gonna switch to you. You got this, right? You can do this. There's so many trainers. I just want to get to the city. <laughs> uh, oh look, thief. It's coming in handy but they didn't have an item because they never have items and now we're confused. Gosh, there's always something. So frustrating. All right, Dracus, get in there. You can do this. Foresight, yeah, nothing, nothing. Let's go for the aerial ace. We're running out of aerial aces. We had an air, we could, I didn't even think about aerial ace to hit that muck with for the minimize. Oh, man, these things are, now we're out of aerial aces too. We can't hit it with ember or we can hit it with ember, but Let's go to, let's go to, oh, we just got rid of, no, we didn't get rid of bite. Let's go to happy. Shadow punch, yeah, and we're gonna spite this thing. Let's use our black glasses. Nightshade, uh-huh, that's painful. Bite though for the win, there we go. Let's see, and another Gengar. Man, this route is like determined. There's just so many trainers we gotta get around here. We can do it, I just, I'm out of moves. I gotta get to the, don't you dare turn around, dude. Okay, thank goodness. 
I just want to get... Just don't, don't look at me. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Okay, we did it. Oh, wow. Wow, what a relief. Okay, so first things first, to the Pokemon Center. Here we go. Amazing. Whew. All right. Feeling much better about that. Let's put Sporkles out front because, of course, why wouldn't we lead with the Mighty Sporkles? And let's go just scout what is in the Fuchsia City Gym. What type of gym is this? Let's go see. What are we going to be up against? Strength isn't the key for Pokemon. Do you understand this? Pokemon is about strategy. I'll show you how strategy can beat brute strength. If you say so, man. Whatever. Watch them be a grass gym. We're gonna be so screwed. Oh, but this isn't helpful. I don't know if they're steel or... Um, I don't know if it's steel or electric. Ugh. Steel seems to be a problem too. Not a huge problem. Um, brick break. Lock on, how dare you. Look at that, level 38 though. Look at the tackle, spark. Oh, wow. Wow, that did damage. Okay, see, I don't feel like we're ready for this gym. And we also don't know what kind of gym it is. That only narrowed it down to one of two types. Not, not what we want. We're going to heal. Why not? Why wouldn't we heal? Okay, there we go. And we're going to try another one just to get a good sense. At the very least, I think I'm going to continue to lead with CC because whether electric or... Steel, CC, I think it's the good lead because we can use Dig on either of them, right? So let's see. Maybe this guy will give us a better understanding of what we're up against in the next gym, Magnemite. So still not helpful. Maybe it's just the Magnemite gym. Everyone has Magnemite. All Magnemites all the time. Which is a problem because they use so many of those dumb confusion type attacks. But dang, okay, so it's a Steel gym. It's a Steel gym. It's like, it's like, hey, the remember when you missed the the Beldum? Well, now you will be haunted by all of the steel types. This is the problem. Just gonna wreck this guy. Super effective metal claw. Yeah, you got nothing. Brick break. And CC is like the gym wrecker at the moment, though, right? Thirty nine CC. Does that make CC the the highest on the team? That is unbelievable. I've never used a Grand Bull before. Why? When did they get so good? There's the Beldum. Mm-hmm. Knock it out. Forget it. We don't need it. Take down. Yeah. Hit yourself with the recoil. And the brick break for the win. Okay, so we're up against steel. That's good to know. That's good to know. That means we can use... Um, that, uh, honestly, that's that's not terrible. Um, a lot of them have subtypings that are like mixed with rock and ground, which means... Well, uh, I think steel is also weak to water. Here, watch me be ignorant now. So I think um, Data and Happy should also be good in there, as well as CC. So now we know what we're up against anyway. Uh, let's head into the Safari Zone and try and get some more... Let's catch a new Pokemon, shall we? I mean, optimistic, am I right? 30 Safari Balls. I have no idea what we're going to get. This could just be anything. I don't, I'm not going to go in the first area though, right? You don't go, you don't want this grass. Center area, right? No center area grass. Oh boy. The whole Safari Zone is one area, by the way. By the way, this is, we only get one for the whole park. It's not like each area counts as its own thing. This is where I like to hunt in this particular grass. Whew. Let's see. I have, mm, it, it's so, it's so down to chance on this one. Let's find out what's it gonna be. Uh, it's a Pelipper. Interesting, interesting. We've already got water types pretty much covered. Let's see if we can get it. I'm just gonna go straight ball. Oh, no, broke free. Okay, while well, Pelipper fled. And that was it, just like that. Wow, terrible, man. How frustrating. A Leaf Stone, that's good. Uh, but we cannot, if I am correct that Roselia does not evolve in this generation, right? Yeah, yeah. We are sadly one gen early on that. So this, I believe, is Sunny Day, which actually... Oh, and as Azeroth, so we have to run. I Oh, Sunny Day, yeah. Very good attack. That's actually not bad, possibly also for Moirin, though, um, because we can uh, set up solar beams. Although we don't have other fire types or anything who can, like, also benefit from it, which is a bummer. Oh, a Shuckle! That would have been interesting. 
No, I don't think we would have used Shuckle. You got to use a really specific strategy to take advantage of it. Oh no, Jay left an item on the ground. Oh, never leave an item. I can hear you guys. I hear you in the comments. Um, by the way, thank you. Uh, this is um, the first episode I'm recording since I asked you guys for that like 1800 like goal. And you guys totally delivered on that. Oh, I went the wrong way, I'm pretty sure. Um, we hit, we totally hit over 2,000 on that one. So, uh, new goal on this episode. Can we get to 2,100 likes? I believe we can because you guys crushed it so hard last time. A Charmander! Oh! Oh, how great would that have, that would have been cool. Oh, man. Uh, to know that it was only ever maybe going to be a Pelipper. Steel Wing, that's pretty solid. <clears throat> Another Charmander. Oh, no! Well, this doesn't count. If we catch this, it's not... Now we'll catch it, of course. Ready? One. Okay, good. Watching carefully. Boy, if we caught the Charmander, it would have been pretty hard not to put it on the team. Like, we could have, we could have some Zard. We could have some double starter action, right? Now, down here, this should be the gold teeth. And then, as long as we don't run out of steps just before we get into that building. Double team, that's pretty good. And Surf should be right in here. Uh, bam. Ah, finally, you're the first person to reach the secret house. I thought I made a campaign for our grand opening. I was worried no one would get it. It's Surf! Hooray! Cool. Alright, so let's go ahead and just give that to the people who need it. We are gonna give Surf use to uh, Happy. Yep. Absolutely. Finally, we can get rid of Water Gun, which is terrible at this point in the game. That's going to be very helpful in our fight against Koga, and we're going to give this to Data, too, because it's like... Surf is like the best water move in the game, so... I mean, accuracy to power-wise, anyway. Hydro Pump has got more power, but less accuracy, and in Nuzlocke, accuracy is everything. So, we're just going to run out the clock here now. I don't think we can actually Surf. Let's see... I don't know. Um, just got to burn the rest of our steps. Sorry, I know that sound is probably very annoying. Can I just exit? Oh, retire. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Well, we missed out on the Pelipper, which is a bummer, but kind of to be expected because we only really... I hate that they can flee. It makes it a lot harder to catch them, obviously. Now what we're going to do, though, we can actually go over here on Route 18 and catch something in this grass as well. So here we go. Another another bite at the apple, as it were. Route 18, let's go. Oh! It's a melodic. Oh, goodness. That is awesome. Oh, ooh. Now we're talking. Okay, 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 okay. Um, I, want, I want it, you guys. I want it. Man, okay. Can't, this, is, this, feels, this feels like a pretty good one. Um, we're gonna go to, obviously, Sporks to try and get the Thunder Wave off. A wrap. Okay, 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 okay. Let's go Thunder Wave. Yep, that's paralyzed. And I think we can just quick attack it, no problem. I, man, I will never know whether I could have quick attacked that Beldum before, but, um, here we go. Okay. Oh. So... It appears that maybe what we need to watch out for is getting just knocked out in general. Oh, the crit! Look at that! As ever, Sporkles with the crits. Always dangerous, Sporkles. Okay, quick attack. Refresh! What does that do? Does it heal it? It heals it of its normal, of its status. Oh, okay. So we gotta Thunder Wave it again now. Tricky, tricky, Melodic can't move that's right okay i want it freed from wrap good we're gonna quick attack it okay i think we can get one more quick attack off even if we crit we should be able to get one off and then we're gonna start throwing the balls okay okay here we go water sport okay if i was like what is the what is this attack um i'm also gonna switch because <laughs> i do not want something terrible to happen to sparkles while we're in the middle of this let's go to cc to throw the intimidate and to just tank hits if we need to we might need to switch back out if they um 
heal up again from the paralyzation. Boy, this is a tricky... All right, we have 14, right? That's got it. I bought them. No, oh, we did it. Oh, oh, good. No way. That's that's one of the coolest sketches of the whole game, right? That's amazing. That is cool. Okay. Well, we got to get a name. We got to get a name. Okay, hold on. Hold, please. All right, Ben, I'm in need of your, your naming abilities. Okay. All right, this is the Pokemon. <gasps> Whoa. Pretty cool. That's cool. Pretty good. All right, so here's our most recent comments on the channel. Let me know if anyone uh, stands out to you. It is a it is a female Pokemon, okay, if that okay, makes any to difference to you. I feel like every time I've always picked something and it's like the, the like wrong... Wrong style for it. Right. Let's see here. Ooh. Well, there's there's someone there named RJ Mythos. Mm. Mythos could just be kind of cool. Mythos is a sounds like pretty good to me. Love it. Love there it. we go. All right. Keep with a comment, RJ. RJ Mythos. We are gonna use the name Mythos. Mythos. Oh man, it is very difficult not to want to put the Melodic on the team. Ah, uh, that is such a cool catch. Oh, uh, but like, we already have two water types. Oh, uh, I can hear you all yelling about data. Oh, uh, look at our beautiful data seal. Our beautiful data dugong. Data the dragon slayer, our ice type. What do we do? Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. That is... But melodic. Am I... I mean, you know? Oh, it's hard. It's hard not to... It's hard. I want to go look at it. I'm going to go see. Let's go look at it. I mean... Let's let's look. Let's just look at... Look how pink. Look how pink it is. We have a lot of pink Pokemon in here. We have Wigglytuff and Tough Wiggly. We have Walt the Whismur. We have Mythos the Melodic. All right, summary, summary, let's see. First of all, we're obviously way level lower. Marvel scale ups defense if suffering. That's pretty good, that's pretty good. I mean, when do you get to play with a Melodic in Kanto, right? I mean, I, I'm never gonna go through the process of getting Feebas. Uh, we have Water Pulse, Refresh, Wrap, and Water Sport. So not that great on the attacks, but we can of course give it Surf and probably something else TM wise if we had to. Um, level 22, level 22, so we have to do some grinding. That's for sure. Goodness me. Okay, you guys. I'm going to I'm going to leave it up to you. I'm not going to make any changes right now, but I will I think I mean if we the obvious switch out is is data. What well, I hate doing that. Let's see. Let's also look at the stats. Hold on. Hold on. So we are a um the big stat is special defense and we're special attack. It's 54 special defense. Let's compare that to Data, who is a much higher level, mind you. But you get the mm, 80 and 68, so much higher right now. Data, oh, who has spent so long wanting to be accepted on the team, it would feel so bad replacing, but, but also Melodic? Okay, I'm going to put a poll on the community tab here on the channel, and you guys can go vote on it. Well... The problem is I'm going to end up recording again before, so maybe that's not going to work. Maybe that's not going to work. Okay. Um, man, I don't know. I'm going to think about it. I'm going to think about it, and I will get back to you. Actually, while we're in the box, hold on. All right. We're going to get... Okay, so we got, um, I got Disappoint out of the box. Oh, wait, what is this? Good Rod? It makes me feel like you're supposed to come down the other side first, because why would you need the Good Rod after you went there? Right? 
The golden teeth, yay, oh, oh my gosh, yay. Now we got strength, right? So we can also, see, this is what I mean. Once you get here, you get lots of better moods. So we can go ahead and give strength to CC. Yep. Get that stab. We can finally replace tackle with the far superior strength. Amazing, look at that big upgrade. And then can we, oh, the rare candy, boom. Take it off the counter. I think that means we need just 15 levels to go. And now we're gonna use Disappoint to fly down to Viridian City over here, where we can um, fish for yet another, here we go, here we go, look at that. We can fish right here and catch something. yet something else. So who are we leading with right now? We gonna lead with Sporkle Switch. We also may as well heal up real quick because there's, I mean, who knows what we're gonna catch. It could be something insane. We'll find out. All right, here we go. What are we gonna catch here? We got one encounter, first encounter. Super Rod, here we go. Not even a nibble, come on now. Not even a nibble. I'm so bad at fishing, you guys. What is happening? All right, here we go. It's da 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 da. Okay, so this is a great opportunity to demonstrate how the dupes clause actually works. Is that, as you can see, there's a little Pokeball under where it says seal. That means uh, the dupes clause has protected us and this seal does not count towards our um, first catch in Viridian City. So we're just gonna knock it out. How like prophetic that we're knocking out a seal as we're determining whether or not we should keep data on the team. Oh, it feels, it feels bad. It feels bad, like we're breaking the rules. But now we can try and catch something else. Mm-hmm, let's do it. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? It is a Pichu! Oh man, that's not that exciting. Okay. All right, all right. The second Pichu we've run into, the other one was also right here near Viridian City. So let's just um, Thunder Wave it, I guess. Why not, right? This is sort of funny. So the Gen 2, um, look there, he's trying to... Pichu is the Gen 2 Pikachu clone. Oh, look at that! The, the quick attack brought it down to just perfect, just the perfect spot. And we're gonna go into um, Great Ball, here we go. Let's catch the Pichu, why not? And we got it, look at that, look at that, we got him. All right, Ben, we need another name. What, so soon? So soon. This, oh, a Pichu. A Pichu. Okay, okay, okay. Boas? Boas? Boas. Like All right. B-O-A-Z. B-O-A-Z, Boas. Boas. Boas? I don't know how I say it. Bo, I'm gonna say the Boas. Boas, the Pichu. Welcome to the box where, dare I say, it's gonna be very difficult for you to make it onto the team because, uh, you know, mining stuff mm -hmm. soon. Uh, so now let's go ahead and we're gonna fly back to Celadon. We are all over the map today. And now we can put Disappoint away. Thankfully, uh, move you back onto the team. Sorry about that, Moiren. All right, we got the Viridian City. I don't know uh, what the deal was in Cerulean City, but you guys saw me try and fish and nothing was nothing was happening. So I don't know if I was just getting unlucky. As I understand it, the old rod basically always catches something, but um, we got T. All right, now we have to go. I think our goal today is gonna be get some levels at the Fighting Dojo and get one more final free Pokemon um, on the, not, Oh, yep, you can have the tea. Glug, 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 glug. Yep, how's it going? Bye, see ya. 
Let's see. Whoop, go up here, over, and shazam. I kept thinking, oh, we'll just use aerial ace in here. But uh, as ever, I keep forgetting the nature of the randomizer that they're not going to have fighting Pokemon. So I don't know who to lead with. Um, uh, let's lead with Dracus anyway, since that was the plan. That was the plan, so we're going to do it. Dracus seems like a fine leader in this situation. -ha! You don't trust messing you're not fighting, do you? Yeah, well, we'll see about that. A wingle. All right. The question, this will be interesting because this isn't like a regular gym. So will everything be water slash flying or will, um, oh, the freaking confusions. You know, we're going to switch out because I don't want to have to deal with that. Go Sparkles! Or will it just be like every trainer is independent because this isn't like a real gym. So that, otherwise it looks like it's a flying gym, which means Sparkles has a chance to seriously wreck the whole thing. It's totally fine by me. I don't mind giving Sporkles lots of airtime. You guys know that. <laughs> Paralyzed. How dare you? And I'm seated. What? All right. It's time for a quick attack. Oh, it wasn't enough. What is happening here? Okay. All right. Dracus, bring it in. Bring it home. Bring it home. Give him the aerial ace. Yeah. Clean it up. Sparkles grew to 36. That's right. That's right. Oh, this is going to be weird because, yeah, we can't heal between fights. I hear you're good. Show me. Yeah, I will show you. Ombre Sveal. <gasps> okay, so they're not all the same. That is interesting. It's not treating it like a regular gym, so we have no idea what to expect in any of these spots. Um, this is a weird fight because I would switch to Sparkles except we're paralyzed. So let's instead switch to... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's go to CC because we can hit it. I don't know if they're water or ice, but at the very least we can... Um, Brick break this thing. Yeah, super effective. Ba bam, take that. Now who's fighting type? Boom. Neither of us. That's the answer. Yeah, dead. CC continues to wreck gym after gym relentlessly. It's just such power. Such power. Um, super potion. We need to go buy more super potions at some point. Probably sooner rather than later. Paralyzed heal and paralyzed heals because that's our last paralyzed heal. So we're going to keep leading with Dracus here to get uh, Dracus a little bit more XP. Hiya! I have no fear fighting anything to fight Shadow Bodus for training every day. Here we go. Bodish. Yeah, okay. That works out very well because we're just going to aerial ace it. This gym has got some high level Pokemon though, no doubt. Level 36? Jeez. Dracus, wake up! Oh, and it's healing now. Okay. I see why you're going to play this. Dracus! Aerial ace this thing in its dumb face. It's just a walking weed. There we go. All right. Oh, he only had one. That's why it was so high level. And there we go. Oh, take your shoes off. Okay. All right. All right. Just everyone calm down. All right. So I really wish we could get a um, dragon type move on Dracus. That would be great. Take down. Yeah, not that concerned. Um, also not that concerned about um, getting hit with fire types because Dracus resists. So there we go. Come on, Dracus, get that level. Oh, a blaze again. All right, we're gonna switch out here because I don't wanna, that just looks mighty strong. And what we wanna hit it with is uh, Surf. So the peck wouldn't have done very much, but we're gonna hit this guy with Surf. Man, Happy got some serious upgrades today with Slash and Surf. Woo, yeah, Happy. Whoop, Dracus go to 35, countdown. We're getting closer. And the Houndoom. Fraid not, friend. Fraid not. You going down. That's the Surf. Dead. And there's a level. Almost up to level 40 is happy. That's amazing. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to... Let's see. I guess I'm just going to go heal Dracus real quick. Why not? Um, just because no reason to go in there. Man down. So this guy normally has Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan. I wonder if the Pokemon he has will continue to match the Pokemon behind him, or if it will just be totally random. I don't know how it's gonna work. Anyway, we're leading with Dracus. Here we go. Grunt, I'm the Karate Master. I'm the leader here. You wish to challenge us, expect no mercy. <laughs> All right. Oh, he's got a Charizard. Boy, if we can choose a Charizard, I'm gonna be real happy. <laughs> I so hope it is, I hope it is the Pokemon he has, because <laughs> I know what I'm picking. <laughs> Let's see, we can attack, yeah, we got no problem here. We got no problem here, Surf. 
Oh, so close to the kill. Hey, scary face. We used to have that. I don't know if he's going to have this for us to choose from or not. Oh, no. What? I mean, Charizard's off the table. It feels like it feels like Charizard just entered the room. You know what I'm saying? It's like, whoa. There's a Charizard in the room right here. Happy. It's me XP. So it's probably... Oh, 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 look at this guy. Thinks he's hot stuff. Huh? He's actually a flying type. So, oh, no. Oh, no. Do you know what's going to happen? Do you know what's going to happen? It's going to it's gonna be a choice. It's going to be a choice between Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan. And it's not going to tell us which is which. And oh no, what if it gives, what if it gives us a livid? It's going to say Hitmonlee or Hitmonchan and we won't know until we pick it. So what does he normally, I think he normally leads with Hitmonchan. So we're going to pick the Hitmonchan if that's the case and hope it's a Charizard. What'd he send out? Okay, we know how to deal with this stupid bird. Oh, man, if I accidentally choose a Pidgeot, <laughs> that's my, <laughs> as my uh, free gift, I'm going to be... I'm gonna be so mad. It cannot happen. It cannot happen. But it could, because that's the way this is going. <laughs> but it's possible it won't be either. This is just me getting nervous in my head. I'm pretty sure he normally leads with Hitmonchan, though. But I feel like I should check. I feel like I should check. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna check Fighting Dojo real quick. I gotta check. Hold on. Fighting Dojo. <laughs> Okay, I think he must leave with Hitmonlee then. Oh, now I'm second guessing everything. He must leave with Hitmonlee. Okay. In which case, we want to pick the Hitmonlee. Indeed, I have lost, but I beseech you to. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, okay, it's going to show me. Okay, so it's not the ones we had. This is not. Okay, so it's either Makuhita. No, I don't think I want Makuhita. Or Stormy. Hmm. That is the piston punching Hitmonchan. No. Well, look at that. <laughs> I feel like we have so many water types, you know? And Makuhita is at least a fighting type. Uh, I mean, let's go with the Makuhita. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. Makuhita! Yeah, okay. Okay, now we need a name. We got lots of new pokes this up. Boy, it really felt like Charizard might be on the table, you guys. Oh and then gosh. it wasn't. My heart was racing. I don't know if it was racing more because Charizard was a possible or because Pidgeot. I know. Like, 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 got to be it, kidding me. It could not be, of course. Uh, let's see. Here's... Uh. Hmm. Oh, actually. Oh. There's Benjimon. Oh, there's Benjamin. <laughs> I love that. It's like me. It's like you. All right. But not. But not. All right, Ben. Benjamin. Benjamin. There we go. Welcome, Benjamin, to the box. Makuhita's transferred to the box. Okay. So, as it were, this only counts as our Saffron City Pokemon, not as our um, Silphco building Pokemon, because that's like a whole. It's such a big area that it counts as its own. Area. So we can still get the free Lapras inside of there, but I think we're going to call it right here for the day. The question is, should we bring on the melodic because, or is it melodic? I don't know. Melodic, melodic. I'm going to switch back and forth and it's going to drive half of you crazy every time. Uh, we're just going to call it by its true name, Mythos. Um, should we add Mythos to the team? I don't know. I don't know. It feels like... It's such a cool Pokemon, and this is so, uh, when do you get to use Melodic in? <sighs> Can't tell. I don't know. Okay, anyway, well, see, um, what I decide in the next episode. Don't forget to, uh, leave a like. We're aiming for 2,100 likes in this episode. We can do it. We can do it. Um, as always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and until next time, bye! Fork.